Now before we actually get to the addition, I need to cover one very important topic, very easy topic with you, and that is the concept of the absolute value of a number. The absolute value of a number has a big word, not a hard thing at all. So let's talk about that briefly. Well, a lot of you probably already know what this is, but for those of you that don't, the absolute value, absolute value of a number. Is, uh, is a very, very simple concept if it's explained in the right way. So let me give you a few numerical examples just instead of telling you in words what it is. The absolute value of the number three, and these bars here, don't be scared off by them. That's just a math symbol, you know, uh, that tells you that we're talking about the absolute value of this number. Um, so, you know, there's lots of symbols in math, you know, equals, plus, negative, square root, all these things. Um, you know, there was a time when you didn't know any of them, so don't be upset if you don't know the symbol, just absorb it and say, okay, this is what we're going to call the absolute value. The absolute value of a number three, which is an everyday number you've dealt with all your life, is just the number three. Okay, I'm going to give you a few examples, and then we're going to go and kind of wrap it up with a general observation. The absolute value of the number five that you've learned all your life is just the number five. The absolute value of the number one that you've dealt with all your life is just the number one. So, you see, it's not a hard concept, just like I was telling you. And I'm, I'm going to get into some words and what absolute value is in a second. But let me show you a little something interesting. The absolute value of the number negative 2, which is negative numbers are new to a lot of people in this course, the absolute value of this is not negative 2, it's positive 2. The absolute value of negative 7 is equal to 7. And the absolute value of, let's say, negative 10 is equal to... 10. So you can see whatever number you put in the inside of these little brackets here, whether it's positive or whether it's negative, no matter what you put in there, the absolute value is going to take the sign away. It's going to strip the sign off. If it's positive, it's going to stay positive. If it's a negative in there, you strip that negative away and the answer is positive. So that is the absolute value. Now why would we call, why would we take the time to, to uh, define something like this? Why would we care about that? Well, if you look at a number line, which we did a lot in the last section, uh, so this is zero, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is negative one, negative two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me take a minute to label it negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative eight, negative nine negative 10, and then over here we can just do it down below, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so why do we care about this stuff? Let me uh, choose a different color here. We said the absolute value of the number 3, which is here on the number line, is equal to 3. What absolute value really is, is it's basically telling you <clears throat> what is the distance between that number that you have in the brackets and 0. That's why we call it the absolute value, because the real value of the number is just negative 5 or negative 2 or positive 3 or whatever the number is. That's the value of the number. But the absolute value is basically saying, okay, I'm not going to look at the sign of the number. Let me actually put this as a 0 in a different color so we can make it easier. Uh, I'm not going to look at the sign of the number. I just want to know absolutely how far away it is from 0. So this is 3 units away from 0. That's why the absolute value is 3. Number five is five units away from zero. One, two, three, four, five. So the absolute value is five. The number one is one unit away from zero, so the absolute value is one. Now, negative two is over here. Yes, it is a negative number, and yes, it's on this side of zero, but absolute value is basically trying to get you to look and see, well, what is the actual distance, the total distance from here to zero? No matter if it's positive or negative, how far away is it? So this is two units away. That's why we have a positive number here. Negative 7 is over here. And yeah, it's a negative number 2, but it is 7 units away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units away from 0. So that's why we call it the absolute value of 7. And of course, negative 10 is over here, and it's 10 units away, so the absolute value is 10. The reason that this is important when we start to add numbers together is because we're going to be adding negative numbers in with the positive numbers. And so you have to know that the negative numbers, yes, they do lie over here, and yes, that's extremely important, but you'll see as we go on through it that knowing what the absolute value is, being able to strip the sign away and just look at the number and then go back and 
figure out what to do with that sign in the end of it, that is going to be very useful the way I'm going to teach you how to add these integers together. So the basic idea is the absolute value teaches you or tells you the distance uh, between whatever point it is you have and zero. That's why we call it the absolute value because it's the value of the number absolutely independent of the sign. Strip the sign away, this is how far away it is from zero. That's what absolute value is. So in your test, if you have absolute value with some stuff in here, all you're going to do to give the answer is take the sign, throw it away. What you have left over is absolute value. See, it's a very simple concept. 